In this video, I am going to introduce you to a fascinating tool called as Meshi. Meshi is a 3D generative AI toolbox for effortlessly creating 3D assets from either text or images. It also can accelerate your 3D workflow. With Meshi, you can create high quality texture and 3D models in minutes. Meshi is powered by the latest advances in AI and machine learning. It is built for designers, artists, and developers. It is not there to replace any designer or a 3D modeler, but to support them in their work. So if you're, whether you're a 3D artist or game developer or a creative coder, Meshi can really help you create 3D assets faster than ever before. There are a lot of features in Meshi, but just to name a few, you can do text to texture, so which is primarily a new way to create textures for your 3D models. So all you need to do is to simply type in a descriptive text prompt of the texture you want and upload your model. And Meshi will generate a texture for you under three minutes. Also, you can do image to texture. So as again, all you need to do is to just upload your image and a base model, and then Meshi would be able to create a 3D model for you under 10 minutes. Similarly, you can do text to 3D or image to 3D, which is quite novel. Okay, now the good thing about Meshi is that you can try it out for free. But if you want to do the paid version, that is also very cheap. So for example, in the free one, you have very generous 200 credits per month and two tasks waiting in queue, shared server, which is quite generous, I would say, for a free tier for such a massive um, AI toolbox. Also, if you want to do a um, paid version, the Pro is quite nice. Just look at this $16 per month, which is US dollars, of course. And then um, you can have 1,000 credits per month, which is amazing. And it, you will have dedicated server for it. Similarly, for you know production work, I, I would highly suggest going with this $48 per month. And you get paid um, yearly for this as with the pro one and you have 4000 credits per month which is huge i think you would you might not run out of it at any time soon and i'm more than sure if your requirement is higher than that such as enterprise you can talk to meshi's team and i'll drop the link to their website which is simply meshi.ai in video's description okay now let's try it out uh, for free uh, with 200 credits so for that just click on start for free here and then just wait for it to load. Now here you can sign up with your email account. So let me sign up with my, my email. All you need to do is to provide your free email address and click on continue, specify your password, and that's it. Once you log in with your email, you'll be presented with this screen. You, you can, um, this is basically a dashboard. You can go to your tutorials or documentation, or you can see what community is doing at the moment. Once, but let's build our something of our own. Now, you already have 200 credits at the top right, and you can get more if you like by just clicking on this get credit button. Okay, on the left hand side, you have three things which you can do with Meshi. AI texturing, text to 3D, and images to 3D. Let's, let's go with AI texturing. Click on AI texturing, and uh, just click on try it out. And it is an alpha testing at the moment. Now, we need to just upload a modular image. So let me upload our image here and I'll just go with some of the OBJ files. Let's wait. So I'm uploading one of my model file, which is simply an FBX file. Model has been uploaded. I am just going to name it containers because it's an image of container and let's create a project. Project has been created successfully, and this is my container. Um, now, let's give it a prompt on the left hand side. You can also go with concept art, but because we want to do the text to 3D, so let's go with text prompt. I'm just going to say, uh, and it is a container, so I'll just say a container, and then let's say fantasy cartoon game asset 4K high quality, and then for the negative prompt, game, which will be avoided will be it shouldn't have poor lighting it shouldn't be ugly or blurred 
that's cool and now that's it i just go with realistic and then um, now when we say original uv here in this one so what it means is uv mapping has it's not a new thing it has been used in the computer graphics since 70s 1970s uv mapping is an important part of 3d modeling that involves unwrapping a 3d model surface onto a 2d plane and uv refers to the two axes u and v representing the 2d texture so let's go with it also there is um, generate pbr maps the pbr maps are PBR stands for physically based rendering maps. It provides critical information that describes the visual properties of a surface in a physically plausible way. The primary objective of this PBR map is to inform 3D software of the various properties of a texture so that realistic looking results can be achieved under all lighting conditions. So let's also toggle it on. And now let's create, click on generate. Estimated time is two minutes then it will consume five credits. You can see it has uh, queued it and 42 tasks left. And the ETA, as we already know, it is around two minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. So in total, there were more than 47 or 42 tasks and no, now only one task left. Earlier I mentioned that the ETA was two minutes, but now it's been over an hour and it is still queuing and working on it. So don't believe on this ETA as I have been waiting for the last more than an hour and now only one task left. So let's wait for it to finish. Hopefully it should be finished in a few minutes. Tasks are eventually finished and now it is in the generating phase as you can see on your screen. Let's wait for it to finish generating. I hope that this finishes quickly. Seems like it. It is already on 12%. 20 and now let's wait for it to finish it is at 99 percent now after five minutes it is taking a bit of a time maybe due to the free tier or i'm not sure because i haven't really tried out the paid one but let's see i hope it is worth the wait it has finished and how cool is that you can see that it has transformed the container and if you click on it you can rotate it because it's a 3d one like in any direction you like it is cool and very nice so it is if i go back up on the left hand side it is fantasy it is cartoonish game asset and the quality is quite good okay now on the right hand side if you look here you can change display settings you can do the environment setting you can go with the texture setting if you click on texture setting it is going to show you how much roughness you want, the color of it, and all the stuff around render mode. If you click on this environment setting, and you can select your HDRI such as this. Sunrise, sunset, daylight, over clouds. Maybe I'll just go with the sunrise. This one. And then background show. And you can see that this is it is showing here. You can Go back here, you can do the rotation as you like in this way, and then you can even increase the strength of it. If I go with any other one, such as maybe I'll go with uh, indoor like this, I'll just say show it is rendering it. Let's wait for it to come back. I'll just let it run and then wait for it to generate it. So I've been waiting for half an hour and it is still uh, trying to render that one. So I will just let it run. But just to give you some more ideas, you can download it on the right hand side. Um, it's not shown on my screen, but you can see the tooltip of download. So, and for the rest of the stuff, you can just go back from here and then you can do text to 3D and image to 3D. Try it out, it will take a long time. Uh, so beware, especially in the free tier. But all in all, very cool software. I would say the output quality is really high. So give it a try and let me know your thoughts. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.